I don't think I'm authoritative enough. I've read a little bit about it. Some people have made some money in it and they swear by it because they've had a good run. But I don't think we have enough knowledge out there to encourage Ugandans to invest in it. If you want to invest in it, begin small, learn the business, and then grow. Don't put too much on the line because the factors that influence its price going up and going down are not in your control. You may have very good habits for business, but the factors that determine the price are completely out of your control. I like to control the businesses that I run. If I do things right, I should be rewarded. If I do things wrong or I'm careless, I should be punished. But if you do everything right, but the market punishes you, then that's out of your control. Now, Bitcoin is like Forex. It's really high risk and the movements are outside your control. Unlike other basic commodities like coffee or tea, the more coffee you grow, the prices may change, but if you've grown a substantial amount of coffee, you'll still get a good return. You shouldn't suffer so much. But with Bitcoin or with foreign exchange, it just can cut and then the movements are very volatile. So you've got to choose where you want to be. But I don't say don't do those businesses. If you choose to go into those areas which are high risk, they can also give you a high return. You could make a fortune. That's why many people made a fortune in the last two years or three years with Bitcoin. Those who got in early because the price kept going up. Those who are coming in now might think it's going to go up and it could drop. Now might be too short a time, like those who hesitated to buy shares in an iPhone. When the price reached $100, they said, oh no, it's now too expensive. It's gone on to go into thousands. They hesitated. So nobody has a crystal ball. Some of these things, you've got to have a gut feeling. A, does it give you pleasure? Do you feel satisfied when you do this business? If you're doing something and you feel like a mercenary, you really don't want to be doing it, but you're just doing it for the money, probably you're in the wrong business. So I don't think money should be the only driver of profit. It's important to make a profit, but you must get some satisfaction from what you're doing. Because if you're doing something, it's going to take a lot of your time, especially at the beginning, a lot of your commitment, your understanding. So it's better that you are passionate about what you're doing and put in the time and effort and you come out healthy, not stressed.